a dark mercy. The myriad of countless tiny light-tinged debris scatters in every direction as those listless fingers, arms, and legs disturb their dreamlike stasis. The body sinks slowly and silently away from all that he has known in this one life. She watches the hands and feet slowly shift with the currents of his steady journey. Down, down, down. Closer and closer and closer into her hungry, outstretched arms. All this sublime darkness around her. It is such a part of her hunting, eating, and mating habits and her very existence, that one might say it is like a large, infinite extension occasionally pierced with the natural wonder of that lantern upon her crown. If you find your unfortunate self looking into those hollow white eyes on that startling, illuminated face seconds after you despaired in the vast and never-ending darkness. Well, I fear that you will have only the ability to beg her for mercy with merely your eyes. She is a skilled hunter, swimming in the black depths well beneath all of our known abilities. She does enjoy the occasions wherein her darkness is graced with a healthy human Women and children and men are welcome feasts. All are a strange and delicious experience down here with her. She watches them drift dreamily below the sun water or the moon waters. Sometimes they are snatched away by other mermaids before they can enter her deeper realm. No matter. Our little darkness dweller is patient. When you find the blackest depths as delicious and calming as she does, there is little to be sad for. There will be another one meant for her oblivion spawning arms shortly. Sure enough, there is. There always is. He comes to her with the grace of a ghostly dancer, tumbling in ethereal slow motion, and she takes him in her tender embrace, whether dead or alive, looking him over and deciding how she will enjoy him. Hey, on the rare occasion he is alive, it complicates things. She is fully capable of speeding him back up through the moon water. She will nurse him back to health on a moonlit beach somewhere, and perhaps they will play together amidst the sounds of the ocean's breath until sunrise when she plunges back to her cozy dark depths, leaving him the night to haunt him to the end of his days. She can be a tender and violent thing to these creatures that drift into her arms. She is a sensitive being. Save for the light of the moon or her lantern and splendid bioluminescent body, she does not agree with light. So her time on shore is limited to the beaches of the starry sky. Oh, but taken away from the moonlit beaches and the nights with their splashing waves and milky ways, supposing this poor soul floating hellwards towards her is alive, but comes to her from the sun water. Well, her decision is cold and quick. Thus, it chills my very bones to report to you that she feels no need to save him whilst exposing herself to those searing rays. In this dreaded instance, 
Davy Jones' dice fall to a place wherein Lady Luck is nowhere to be found, and a fish does need to feed, and so then he is the prey in the arms of infinite darkness. He has a fateful date with the hungry jaws of light.